It's my second fish back after a year off. I've teamed up with Shenna's tonight. I've had a big day with the boy and the family. I've had a big day working and the wind's just backed off. What a sunset that is. So we're just trying to get a squid. We need a bait or we've got no fishing. And we're running out of time because it's getting dark quick. So I'm going to try something I don't normally do and just come up and fish in a different spot and see if we can find some squid. Just in the nick of time, I just dropped a really good squid, so I said grab the camera. In this case it's an iPhone 7. And I cast again, and a few seconds later, on again, and this fish took I don't know, 20 metres of line, you reckon, Shenna's? Close to it. So it's nice to be hooked up back on Western Port. There he is, can you see him now? Yep. I'm put him in the net. I've got him by the smallest tentacle you've ever seen. And he's just backed himself into the net like a hero. <laughs> there he is. Do your thing, come on, buddy. That's it. So we squirt it out there. That's a good squid. That is a good bait. That's a good squid. There you go, I'm back. Two total hip replacements. I've got hundred thousand dollars worth of titanium in me at the moment, and also total hip uh, shoulder reconstruction. I'm learning to walk again. Um, I don't like him white, so let's see if I can change him. Put him on black. There you go. Well, change his colour straight away. All right, let's get fishing, Jenners. Let's do it. <laughs> We've got our boat, mate. Shimano. Sephia Kamura 14T. Classic. It's what I saw first, I just grabbed it. But I'm going to do something now. Sean, turn the light off. Get now? Yep. You see the glow? Yep. Alright, so we've got the glow on the back of the jig. And we've got some little little uh, glows up under the, on the pectoral fins. That's it. So at night, that's all they're seeing, that glow. I was looking up at the foot the sky, it was like silvery grey. I'm thinking, is the silvery grey lure going to look good up there from a squid's point of view, you know? And uh, I said black would be good, so Cheddar's put a black on, but I stuck with a 14T, and there's your answer. It still worked. They're incredibly good uh, jig. Now, I've studied a lot of these over winter when I was repairing myself with UV lights and stuff at night, and that cloth on the Shimano is supersonic. It's not like any other cloth on any other jig I've ever seen, except some of the Shimano jigs. The cloth literally glows with UV. The cloth and the body underneath. So it's... A, it's Double jeopardy. Some it's fully dark now. Sean and I have just belted around in, in uh, the south side of French Island, which is in the middle of Western Port, into a place called the East Arm. And there's a little tiny island under the big island called Elizabeth Island. And we're just south of that. And we're on the channel edge. Just here to my south, very shallow area, underwater at high tide. In the next six hours, the tide's going to flow off those banks into the channel. So we're going to sit along the channel edge. So Sean's preparing this. So we've got just a squid rig. Um, we so use... that's the tube of the squid? Yeah, just the hood. So um, we cut it into rings like you're buying a shop to eat? Yep. And what we found is that at night, if you cut the flesh open instead of using tentacles or heads, we actually found that it's a, it's a better odour in the water. It gives more off scent. more scent. Yeah. So therefore it tracks them better. Then it's not a visual thing. They can't see it. We if you use a head, they, they can actually see it and they're actually attracted to the head. So, smaller hooks here, I use a 3 0 uh, Gatamatsu hooks here. Um, Gatamatsu? Is it a bit like Gamakatsu? Same, same. I'm not, <laughs> I don't say it right. Um, but I find them super sharp and easy to pierce every fish it touches. 3 0. 3 0, yeah. Yeah, that's the legacy of our Mulloway fishing, really, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit of wind, we've got the wind and tied together, so it's really comfortable. And there's Sean, there's your top mate, bag to bag, with a bit of artwork that me and Justine designed a few years ago. Oh. You're joking me. That only just went in. No, it's the next one. Rod just buckled, he just picked up to see what's on there. Didn't take any line though. Might be a small snapper, eh, Sean? Yeah, it's definitely got the head knocks of a wreck. But... Has it? Yeah. I oh, will just start swinging him out to the side. No, just swap rods with that, just, yeah. Oh yeah. 
So we're off to a good start on the... Whoa! It's actually the first snapper trip of the year for me. And me. And you too. Yeah, I haven't seen Western in a while. It's a pretty late start. But, um, it's a good start. It's our second set of rods. It's the first time we put a fresh bit of calamari on this season and uh, she's taken off. It's a good fish. Oh, has it? <laughs> it's giving you a stick. It's, it's not a bad fish. It doesn't want to come up, but that's usually a sign of a good fish. So just go easy on it. Just take your time. Jeez. Six fives my PB. Let's see. Doesn't matter, mate. That's not a, good, not a bad start. We've got a bit of a mess of the lines. You're on your own, mate. Yeah, you're on your own. It is a mess. We have a mess. Oh, you got to steer it into the net, don't forget that skill. It's not bad. Swing around. Alright, so I'll take all your little mess there and get him out. That just went down nice and deep. Oh, big daddy. Good start of the account. Oh, awesome, mate. Nice big tail wrist. There's your hoodie, Sean. Love it. Think big. Think big. There we go. So just hold him up so his back's forward. That's it. You get a good look Think here. bag the pack. So get some perspective on it. Yeah, it's not mo monstrous. It's a good... A little knobber. Probably 5.4, something like that. 5.5. Nice, strong start. Do you want to release him? Yeah, why not? Alright, so I'm going to get a photo first and then we'll get, a, get some lights at the side, alright? Yep. So get some photos for the boys. Here, you know, just come over here and I'll you just spear him in and I'll watch him. Aim for that dot. Woo! Off he goes. Well done, mate. Good start. It's not quite what we're here for, but we'll take it. Alright, so what reels have we got? The uh, Saragosa, what is it? Saragosa 10,000. 10,000, yep. I run Revolution uh, 10 to 12s. Yep. Uh, and that's my western port setup. Alright, so we've got four rods at night, that's all we fish to each side. And as you notice, we've got it flat in the rod rack. We don't want the rods to bend and let the snapper or the mulloway feel the weight of the rod and then drop the bait. So we're fishing gear with the rods pointed at the fish. So the minute they take line, they, do, they connect directly to the drag and those sharp little gamakatsu gamma hooks set deep in the fish. So that's it, it's just a waiting game now. Unique to Melbourne, Australia, flat horizontal rod racks are night fishing. And there's got to be a hundred boats out here tonight. <laughs> Swimming like current out of the side. Ooh, ooh. So, uh, back after ooh. a short battle with the uh, skate. <laughs> Had a skate on a few moments ago. Ooh. 
Nice fish. Nice fish. White fish. Pack cool? Oh, big head shakes. Yeah. Oh, look at them. Whoa. I just, I'm really gentle. I don't, I don't, I don't muscle a fish. Never muscle a fish out here. You know it's not a giant snapper because when a giant snapper does those surges, it's, yeah, you know, 10 meter surges, not meter surges. But there's nice big head shakes on him. Whoa. You might just have him just by the, a little bit of skin in the mouth. And you don't want to pull the hook, so. Tip of the lip. Probably, yeah, four kilos, I think it's going to be. Ooh. Just hasn't got the power to. Take Here's off. a tip for anyone that wants to make videos for fishing. If you're holding a camera, that's your job. Don't do anything else. And be careful not to put your finger near lenses like that. Oh, you, gotta, you, you just put it on the fisherman and say, your problem. I'm <laughs> holding the camera. Because the minute you go for nets and gaps, you ruin your footage you're working for. A little bit of weight, even though it's not taking any line. Jeez. Yeah, up she comes. Shit, it's a bit bigger than I thought. Oh dear. That's a cranking fish, mate. It's a good fish. Just patience, mate. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, Janice. That's got some weight, buddy. Oh, nice. <laughs> that is a it's good fish. It. <laughs> that is a cranking snapper, mate. Wow. He'd be nudging. He'd be nudging seven kilos, mate. Let's go to flip that. See how. I just give you the spiel about cameraman does camera. Even then, he still wanted to grab that for me. All right, so let's put it on the floor. Gently does it. Uh, probably over call these. Probably about six, six and a half. Yep. Have a look at him. I'm gonna get him near the floor. If he kicks, he'll fall and hit the deck. All right, so put him down like that. Now, if I'd been holding him up six foot in the air, I would have smashed him so stupid. Flash. We're now, we're not going to television. We're going to try and really get this, this YouTube channel cranking. So expect to see a lot more from Dave and myself over the next couple of years. We're really going to turn the volume up. We're going to, we're going to get, get on with it. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I really am.